In this video, we're going to go over how to use asset packs. Let's make sure we have the asset tab open. Click on one of the empty slots to open up the library. When the library is open, you'll see that there are three tabs at the top there. Let's click the one that says asset packs. Currently, it's displaying the default asset pack. But if I click where it says default, it'll give me a drop down menu of all the different asset packs. For this game, I think I'd like to use the Egypt Asset Pack, so I'm going to use that one. I'm going to add some of these sand tiles, some spikes, and some other things to decorate all of the different elements of my game. Now that I have all of the art that I want to use in my Asset Tab, I'm going to start decorating my terrain with this dirt tile. Depending on if it's a corner, a wall, or a floor, I might decorate it a little bit differently so it looks a little bit nicer. I'm going to repeat this process for all of the blocks that I have in my game. Let's test it really quick just to take a look. I'm almost finished decorating, but there are two things left that I want to do. I want to change my background, and I want to change my hero. To change my hero, I want to click down here at the bottom right, where you can see Milo. I'm going to click on Milo, and I'm going to open up the character library. I'm going to click the Asset Packs tab, and I'm going to switch him to Anubis. I'm also going to configure my hero and give him some special abilities. To keep the changes that you've made to this hero, make sure you click save before leaving the screen. To change my background, I have to go down here to the bottom right, click where it says BG, I'm going to open up the library and go to the asset packs tab and select this pyramids background. For this game I only use one asset pack, but we encourage you to get creative and mix and match asset packs to fit your game or your story. 